What's up everyone? Welcome back to Just Finished Coding. This is part one of our Galaxy Weight Estimator series. So let's get coding. Just finished coding. Now here's a quick preview of what you are going to be able to accomplish at the end of this series. So as you can see here in our final output, the planets are all rotating and you're going to be able to click on any planet enter in your weight and see your weight pop up on every other planet in the solar system, including the sun. Now, how is this program made? Well, let's get into that right now. The first thing you want to do is to open up any Scratch editor of your choice. Now, for this, I'm going to be using the Scratch 3 offline editor, but if you are more comfortable with an online editor or um, an offline editor, but a previous version of Scratch, like Scratch 2 or Scratch 1, by all means, go ahead and do so. Just make sure that you do know how to use some essential features, like uh, writing the code, changing costumes, etc. And the only advantage, as far as I know, that Scratch 3 comes with is a new and improved library. And we are going to be using some sprites, so you may be using, uh, may be facing some constraint right there. So if you do want to upgrade, please make sure you do so to Scratch 3, but it really does not make a difference as long as you do know what you are doing. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the code. The first thing you want to do is to delete your cast sprite, and you can do that by clicking the dustbin icon right there. Now you want to click upload a new sprite, and I'm going to uh, use a series of sprites that uh, I've either drawn myself or I've found on the internet and you can find all those files linked for download in the description box below So make sure you go ahead and download all those files now I'm gonna click upload a sprite and I'm gonna choose one of the sprites that I want So you want to navigate to wherever your file is stored and I'm gonna do that and click on my sprite right now So these are my sprites and I'm gonna choose uh, Jupiter first So I'm clicking on Jupiter and with that, Jupiter actually pops up pretty big and nice. So I'm going to set the size to of Jupiter to be about 40 so that it's pretty proportional with the rest of the solar system. And I think this is a pretty good size for Jupiter. Alright, so we want the program to initialize when the green flag is clicked. So make sure you put that as your first line of code. Now you want to initialize a few essential variables. And before we do that, let's actually delete the my variable variable as we don't really need it. Now the first variable you want to initialize is going to be called gravity of Jupiter and you want to click this uh, icon right here which says for the sprite only and trust me this is extremely important and do not mess up with this step. So you want to say uh, uh, just name your first variable gravity and you also want to do another thing and that is same uh, you want to say set for the sprite only and we're going to call this weight. Now the third variable you want to set it to be for all sprites and you want to set this variable to be mass. Alright, there we are. So now let's do the two initializations for gravity and for weight. Uh, now we want to set the weight to be equals to zero initially as that's how we want the program to start out. But for the gravity we want to set it to be the gravity of Jupiter which is about um, 25 or to be more precise 24.92 meters per second squared. So that's the acceleration due to gravity. Alright, that's it for our initializations. Now we want to have a forever loop to actually show Jupiter rotating. Now Jupiter rotates in an anti-clockwise motion just like most planets and uh, our proportionality scale for this case would be about 4.5 degrees. Now don't worry too much about this. This is just proportional to how uh, fast the planets actually uh, rotate on a normal, uh, normally I mean uh, given our solar system. So you want to say uh, turn anti-clockwise by 4.5 degrees. So let's actually test this out. Now this is actually going to be pretty fast and Jupiter does rotate very fast compared to most planets. Alright, now with that, let's actually get into our code further. So now we want to actually have this message called when sprite is clicked and you can find that in the events category. Now when the sprite is clicked, that interactive message pop up um, came up and what uh, it asked was to enter our weight on that particular planet. So head over to your sensing category and grab this ask and weight block and you want to say what's your weight on Jupiter and weight. So what's your weight on Jupiter? I think I just typed white. Okay, so what's your weight on Jupiter and weight? There we are. Now we want to set the weight um, to be the answer. Okay, so set weight to be the answer 
And now what we want to do is to actually find out the person's mass, okay? And the mass is going to be constant across the universe. So that is a pretty, you know, standard value. And we can find that by using the formula weight is equals to mass times the gravity. So the mass of a sprite is basically going to be the weight divided by the gravity. So in this case, we're going to set, um, we're going to set the mass to be equals to, um, so you want to head over to your operators and grab it divided by. So we want to set the answer to be equals to the weight divided by the gravity. There we are. Now this is a pretty important step. Now you also want to know uh, what, um, you know, once this is done, right, you also want to know the weight of the person on all the other planets and not just on Jupiter. And as a cue for that, what we're going to do is to broadcast message and the message is going to be called calculate. Now we'll uh, understand why we actually do this a bit later on. I mean, if you're just doing it for one planet, then well, this would pretty much be enough. But since we're doing it for many planets, we need this uh, block of code right here. Now I'm going to do a little bit more. So when I receive calculate, and this will be the case if some other planet broadcasts the message to other planets to calculate and Jupiter being one of the other uh, planets has to oblige to this particular message. So when I receive calculate, remember we have the mass of the person. So in our case, again, the weight is going to be just the mass times the gravity. So we want to set the weight um, to be, uh, so now head over to operators and grab a multiplication. So you want to set weight to be the mass times the gravity. There we are. And that is it. So when you click on the sprite, it asks you what's your weight on Jupiter. I'm going to enter in something random. And as you can see here, our weight just popped up the same. Now, this may seem kind of trivial, but when we do get into more planets, this is actually an extremely important step. Now, I'm not going to go too much into this video, and that is going to be it for this video. Now, if you have enjoyed this video so far, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. And make sure you check out part 2 linked right here. I'll see you in the next video.